goodness, you guys, we are officially living in this house. We've been living in here for a few days, but I vlogged the whole closing day, which I'm about to show you. We are driving over to sign all of the documents for our closing, and then we already have our cars packed, so we're gonna start unloading like right away. But I'm gonna do a house tour first. That'll probably be the next clip. I filmed an empty house tour on closing day, and to be honest, it did not turn out as well as I had hoped. So I'm going to use the clips that I have from closing day of the empty house and kind of tag team it with my past self as I went through the house and shared a little bit about each room. I'm so excited, so let's just get straight into it. Welcome home. As soon as you walk in the house and turn left, you see the office. We're thinking about putting like maybe a wall here with some French glass doors that open up. So we're gonna have a desk in here, maybe a bookshelf, we're not too sure yet. So currently my husband is going to have his desk there and that will be his office. When you walk farther down, if you turn left, there's a door and that actually goes to the basement. If you turn to the right, there is a small bathroom. As soon as you go past the stairs, on the left side is our living room. There is a mantle and a fireplace and lots of windows that let in a lot of light. Then if you turn to the right, you enter our kitchen. I think that is my favorite room in this house so far because it's so beautiful. I feel like it came right out of like my vision board. I feel so blessed. I'm gonna say that a lot in this video because I truly am just so, so thankful. I don't know how this is real life. I'm just obsessed. And then in here, it's kind of like a sunroom, but we'll use it as our dining room. So we'll put the table in the middle of there. Maybe add a rug. We're planning to add curtains over all the windows, so that's gonna make it look so beautiful. I'm so excited. If you go to the opposite side of the kitchen, kind of like through, there is a coat closet on the left where we can keep our coats after walking in through the garage. There's a pantry on the right and then a two car garage if you go straight through. Let's go upstairs. When you walk upstairs, everything is carpet up here. This room is kind of like a second living room. It's basically a loft. It's actually gonna be set up pretty much exactly like our old living room was with all of that furniture. This can just be like a chill area rather than the like living room downstairs is gonna be a little bit more formal, I guess. This is one of the bedrooms, which I'm actually probably going to turn into my office. It has a really big window and it lets in the most light out of all the guest rooms. That's actually the current room that I'm sitting in and I'm so excited to like make this a true office space. I've never had my own room that's an office before and yeah, I'm thrilled. Here is the laundry room. Very simple, we'll have our washer and dryer and it's nice that it's upstairs because then I won't have to carry the laundry all the way up and down the stairs. Kind of similar to the house that we were in before. Here is the guest bathroom upstairs. It's nice because there's two sinks. Here's another guest bedroom with the same type of double closet. And then this is the third guest bedroom. Again, with a closet. It's nice that all of the guest rooms come with double opening closet doors, so there's lots of space if our guests decide to bring a lot of clothes, I guess. Now we're here at the primary bedroom. Lots of windows. If you go in through there, we have our bathroom with a rather long shower. There's actually no tub in this bathroom, which kind of sucks because I really like baths. The shower has like a rainfall shower head and one that also comes from the side. So if I want to shower and not get my hair wet, then that's what I'll use. And then there's a separate toilet room here. And then if you keep going to the end, there's our closet. And that's the second floor of our house. And now we're back downstairs and we can go to the basement. The basement is like half finished right now. This is like another living room sort of hangout area down here, which we're thinking maybe we can add like a little movie theater area here. Maybe put a projector on the wall, add some, a couch or some chairs, and then maybe put a little like bar area over here and add like a pool table or something here. We'll see, maybe not pool, maybe like 
foosball. Air hockey. Air hockey. We're just kind of wanting to make that space fun. That's like last on our list to do, so who knows when that's actually gonna happen. This is an unfinished bedroom. Eventually we wanna finish this bedroom, but for right now, we're just gonna use it as storage, I guess. That was so loud. Turn on the light. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, okay. Oh yeah, this is storage space. This is like another room technically. It can't be considered a bedroom because there's not a full window. But if we finish this, we can actually add a little bathroom in this corner because there's that thingy on the ground. <laughs> the rough plumbing. The rough plumbing. And that's pretty much our house. So I'm gonna send you back to me a few days ago on closing day as we start to move in. I'm so excited to be here and I just can't wait to move everything in. So the plan for today, we have a bunch of stuff packed up in our vehicles. We're gonna just start moving things in little by little and eventually start to live here. Hopefully within the next couple of nights, we can actually be fully moved in. I'm so excited, you guys. Ah. Okay, so we've done quite a few trips. We've been going back and forth with our vehicles, just packing things up. We haven't gotten a moving vehicle yet because I think we're gonna do that within the next couple of days. I just ordered us some Chinese food and I just picked that up. I'm so, so hungry. He's hungry too, but he's bringing some more stuff inside. I just cannot wait to dig into this. It's currently 3 p.m. We woke up around 7.30 this morning. The closing process took a long time. about four o'clock now and the sun is already starting to go down. So we're quickly losing daylight, but that's okay because we do have a few days to get everything moved in. It's exhausting. I feel like I'm definitely getting my steps in for sure, going up and down the stairs and walking around in and out of the house, but I just am so grateful. Like my younger self could not believe this, I feel like. I'm definitely trying to stay like as present as possible and realize how special this moment is because I don't know, I kind of have a feeling like maybe we'll start a family in this house. Maybe this is the house I'll be pregnant in for the first time. I don't know. I just think that this is such a monumental, like special moment and I'm recognizing that and I'm fully present. Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the brand that I'm actually wearing. These leggings and this um, sports bra are from Fanka. So thank you so much, Fanka, for sending me these. I really, really love them. The leggings are so lightweight. It almost feels like I'm not wearing pants. And that is perfect. I feel so, so comfy. And I just love how it fits and how this is kind of longer. It's almost like a crop top, but it's really just a long line sports bra. So if you guys want a discount there, I will leave my code in the description below. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the brand. <laughs> coming together. We're still trying to figure out where we want everything in the kitchen. So I'm kind of just unpacking the boxes and then I'm gonna wait for Caleb to get back from the house that all of our stuff is in and we can decide together where we want things in the kitchen. Also, my hair is in a complete knot. I'm trying to get it out. The only downside to this house, I think as you guys saw when I did the house tour is that there's a line of houses right behind ours. So because we don't have blinds or curtains, literally they can all see in. So, oh my gosh, look how bad this is. Oh no. Also, we got these rugs from Amazon and I'm really hoping that they are the right size and fit well. Okay, so I think we need to get like little sticky things to go underneath so that it doesn't like move everywhere. 
But that's so cute. Aw. Yay. Honestly, I think these rugs look so cute in here, but I am gonna pull them up really quick and put them away because I definitely want to have the space clear for when we're bringing stuff in so that nobody like trips over a rug or gets them dirty or whatever. Okay, one more thing I do have to say about this place is that every time we visited, the sky is stunning. It is just like a painting. Like I just feel in awe right now. God is a good artist. So for right now, I'm just unloading it directly onto the kitchen counter, and then I guess we'll decide from there where we want it. currently almost 10 p.m. and we're finally about to leave go back to our previous house and spend the night there and then come back here early in the morning to start moving some more bigger things i think we're renting the moving van tomorrow and the next day we're exhausted we put more things away in the kitchen and then we also brought all of our clothes up into the closet and started somewhat organizing that so our closet is like pretty good to go and our kitchen is coming along we're just trying to figure out where we want everything, but we are so tired. So I'm gonna say goodbye now. Peace. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.